All right, Edge here, um, running uh, TNT uh, 2.00. What I'm going to do now is run Quadrant before and after that update. PQ Quadrant Standard, okay. So let's go ahead and run the uh, full benchmark. All right, so it's running through them right now. So 1776 is what we got this time. All right, not bad, not bad. Better than my Evo, which is right there, which is what I'm filming this with, and that's that's us now. So let's go ahead and uh, shut down. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, do the update. using the clockwork mod so I'm able to flash stuff pretty easily There's the one we're looking for, GTAB Tegra update, test one. And yes, let's install that. <laughs> nice one, Robit. He put in there, I hope you know this will bork your camera. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, let's reboot. And since I have only shot I think two pictures with the camera ever and both of those times were uh, just for I don't even know what purpose maybe just to see that it worked I don't know I never really used the camera anyway so all right let's see what happens here I'm going to give it a couple moments here just to settle down because uh, the Android tablets tend to want to do things like update the email and, and everything. All right, so let's go back here to Quadrant Standard, run full benchmark. So there we go. So now we're running a full benchmark again. And let's see how we do this time. I might be silly, but it seems like it's going a little bit faster through the uh, I.O. stuff.
All right, let's see the result. 2480. So we went from 17, I think it was 1770 to 2480. That's pretty huge right there. That's pretty darned impressive. Let's take a look at uh, YouTube. Um, I showed in my previous video how that looked. Let's look at the same one. What's up, guys? I'll tell you what's up. A horse in the back seat of a fucking car. Yeah, so it plays, uh, plays nice and smooth. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Now, I will say the button presses are pretty darn responsive. That's pretty uh, pretty impressive right there. Um, here we go. Here's a WMV. I think we should have an Italian president from New Jersey running the country. Right now. We had an Italian president running the country right now. This war in Afghanistan be over. All right. WMV plays uh, pretty darn easily, pretty nicely. Let's look at uh, a movie. He was a bartender on a cruise ship, you know, at the uh, Best Little Chapel. You guys kept saying how sick the wedding was. And getting all... Yeah, so movies play the same, pretty nice. But one thing that is really amazing, though, is just how fast. Uh, the rendering is on this stuff. Yeah, that wasn't so fast there. I think it's something I'd never look at, CNN. Let's see how fast it comes in. All right. That was pretty quick. Wow. I can't... Uh, can't complain about that. Go to Fox News. Boom. That's almost like Chrome speeds on my desktop. This is pretty darned impressive. Oh, let's go to the granddaddy of, uh, of slow-to-load sites. Also one of my favorites. Engadget. Wow, pretty nice. See, still loading. I swear, I don't know what Engadget has on their site, but it's always huge. Oh, look, Sharp has a media tablet coming out in December. All right, but anyway, so, again, browser speed greatly, greatly improved. This is pretty sweet. But uh, most of all, the UI and everything is just much, much faster to respond. Very nice. So, uh, Robeat and uh, the fellow who helped him uh, find this improvement, you guys have done an outstanding job. This is really awesome. Um, I, I was already starting to think that we're getting close to the pinnacle of how good this thing can be on uh, Android 2.2, but they keep blowing our socks off. So. There you go, the uh, Quadrant Standard 2480. That is darn zippy. All right, that's it for this one. Take care, everyone.